नमस्कार सत श्रीकाल एंड खमा घणी माय नेम इज अर्पिता कारवा एंड आई वेलकम यू बैक टू योर फेवरेट यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ वेरी हॉट टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द लेटेस्ट इग्नू एम ए इंग्लिश लिटरेचर सिलेबस एंड हाउ यू कैन चूज द ऑप्शनल सब्जेक्ट ड्यूरिंग योर एम एंग्लिश इन इग्नू सो इफ यू आर एम ए इंग्लिश स्टूडेंट ऑफ इग्नू or if you are planning to do ma english from ignu then please don't go anywhere we will cover in detail what is the ideal choice to pick when it comes to the meg optional subjects and why let's look at the syllabus first ignu gives different codes to different subjects all in all there are 19 subjects in masters of english literature from meg 1 to meg 19 there are 19 subjects let's first understand what this meg is M stands for masters and EG stands for English hence MEG stands for masters in English out of the 19 subjects you just have to study 8 subjects in 2 years four in the first year and four in the second year you don't have to study all the 19 subjects so you can take a deep breath and relax boys relax relax these eight subjects are also further divided In the first year you get one compulsory subject and three optional subjects similarly in the second year also you get one compulsory and three optional subjects now let's move on and talk about the compulsory subject in the first year the compulsory subject is MEG 5 which is literary theory and criticism they have chosen this as compulsory because it is a very difficult and tricky subject and nobody wants to take it otherwise so if this was not a compulsory subject no student would have opted for it also since this is a subject which is very important when it comes to english literature they have made it compulsory a pasand ho ya na ho padhna to padega in the second year they have given you a choice even in choosing a compulsory subject you can either choose meg 4 which is aspect of language or meg 15 which is comparative literature and you have to choose one of these two and apart from this you have to choose three optional subject about which we are going to talk in a while now like i said you have total of 19 subjects if you minus three compulsory subject that is meg 5 literary theory and criticism meg 4 aspects of language and meg 15 comparative literature you will be left with 16 subjects these 16 subjects are divided into five modules each module has three subjects except for the last module which has four subjects so 5 into 3 is 15 and the last subject has one additional last module has one additional subject so it goes to 16 so if you have to conclude what this syllabus structure looks like you can say that in the first year you have to study meg 5 plus three other optional subjects similarly in second year you have to choose between meg 4 and meg 15 and take three optional subjects as well when it comes to optional out of the five modules you have to choose two modules in two years one module in the first year and the second module in the second year now before moving ahead a quick reminder for all my lovely students out there if you are looking for ma entrance phd entrance ugc net pgt tgt exam updates then please follow us on instagram and facebook we regularly post important information related to exams on these social media sites moreover we also share quick revision videos on our insta and facebook page every wednesday where we help you revise important topics in less than 60 seconds friends Now let's talk about how you should select any optional subject. I will quickly take you through three criteria. You should select any optional subject which meets all the three criteria. Now, criteria one. This is based on the syllabus. You should always choose a subject whose syllabus is less. A lot of students who enroll themselves in IGNU for MA English are either working professionals or are housewives or are busy preparing for some competitive exam which doesn't leave them with a lot of time in hand that's why they have chosen the distance uh, route to education now in that case you should definitely choose the subject in which the syllabus is less so that you have time to complete the syllabus and then time to even revise it right so that's the first criteria now we move on to criteria number 2 
which is to make sure that whatever subject you are opting for, study material of the same is readily available online and offline both. Though IGNU provides us with books, but what if you are not able to understand the language of those books? Plus, we know that IGNU won't offer you any classes and you have no other option but to study on your own. You neither have teachers to explain you nor you have seniors to guide you. It would be a waste of time if you are unable to find any online study material or reference books on the topic that you have chosen to study. Because then you will be spending a lot of time understanding it, comprehending it and trying to figure out what to write in the exam paper. Let's say it has a complicated novel which is not available online. What will you do then? You will start panicking and that won't really help you, right? So ensure that you only choose the subjects jinka study material ya guide books available here. Moving on to the third criteria which is about choosing less complicated module. You will find a lot of students who have this urge to choose a subject which is very difficult or very different which no one chooses. Now they think that if they do this then the examiner will give them more marks but that's not the case. Instead what will happen is you will end up spending too much time on understanding that topic and hence you will score less marks in that exam. So it is better that you choose subjects which are scoring in nature and which take less time to understand which are really easy to understand. However, if you are very determined to follow the subjects of your interest even if they are hard you only want to pursue those subjects then why not who is stopping you but make sure that you put your heart and soul into it only then you will be able to make marks in that subject. Now let's see that what you should choose between MEG 4 and MEG 15. We are first going to talk about the choice between the compulsory subject in second year and then later in this video I am going to take you through the five modules which are optional and I will tell you which one you should opt for in which year. Now friends, out of MEG 4 and MEG 15, MEG 4 is a very very technical subject. It is aspects of language. Pretty complicated, very technical in nature. Plus its material is not available online. I would suggest you never to take it. Rather the best choice would be to take MEG 15 that is comparative literature. Some students think that comparative literature is complicated. But let me tell you that's not the case. I'll give you an example. If a question says write a note on symbols used in Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, you can easily write it, right? No biggie. But let's tweak the question. The question says compare the symbols used in Pride and Prejudice and Mill on the Floss. Now you'll think that this is a very difficult question, but actually it's not. I'll tell you how. First you have to write a paragraph on symbols in Pride and Prejudice, then use the same symbols to write a paragraph on Mill on the Floss. For example, if you choose marriage as a symbol, then you write a paragraph on uh, marriage in Pride and Prejudice. Then you talk about marriage again in regards to Mill on the Floss. And that is how you keep on doing till the time you conclude your answer. Another benefit of this is sometimes we don't have enough material to write about a single novel. But when the question asks you for a comparison, then you can easily write two pages on each novel. So two pages on first novel, two pages on the second novel and then two pages you can write comparing the two novels and giving your conclusions and hence you have enough material to write a six page answer which you might not have be able to write in case of a single novel. Therefore, without a doubt, I will suggest that you take MEG 15 in the second year as the compulsory subject. Before we move on to the next point, here is something I would like to share. If you are preparing for UGC NET exam, then here is a very good news for you. We have some amazing courses lined up on our website courses.arpatakarva.com. We offer you a complete animated video course for UGC NET paper 1 and a complete course for UGC NET paper 2 English literature. You can go to our website, check out the detailed list of writers that we cover in our course and we promise you that we provide end-to-end -end preparation to all our students. We also have separate mock test series for UGC NET paper 1 and paper 2 English literature. For those of you who are preparing for MA entrance, PhD entrance, PGT, TGT in English or are doing MA English from IGNU, we have just released separate courses for you guys as well. 
thousand plus students enroll in our courses every year and we ensure we help them clear their dream exams so please go out and check out our website the link of the website and the courses is given in the description box below for more information related to courses we offer feel free to shoot your queries on whatsapp number displayed on the screen and me and my team will be more than happy to assist you you can also listen to free demo lectures before you decide to buy the course so that you familiarize yourself with the course beforehand now we move on to the next important topic we have just talked about the compulsory subject let's now jump to the optional subject and see how to choose the optional subject and which optional subject will be an ideal choice we have five modules out of which you have to choose any two the module that the student should opt for in the first year is module number 1 british literature the first benefit is that the bachelor students have already studied british literature in depth secondly the guide books and summaries are readily available in the market for any topic you pick for british literature you pick any author william wordsworth jonathan swift william shakespeare and there is a plenty of material available online in form of podcasts video lectures guide books summaries you name it and you have it secondly in ugc net and english pgt tgt exam british literature is the most asked portion so if you have these aspirations to clear all these exams this will be a win win situation for you so in the first year you should opt for british literature which includes mg 1 2 and 3 british poetry british novel and british drama now let's talk about the optional in the second year i always suggest students to go for module number 5 which is american literature it has four subjects but you have to only choose three so you can skip the first subject and go for mg 11 that is american novel mg 17 which is american drama and mg 18 which is american poetry this also has the same logic the material is readily available plus since it is just about a single country you can use the background information in all the papers related to american literature so you can read about american renaissance you can read about american romanticism and you can use the same information in all the three papers this might not hold true for the other modules like new literature because usme ek paper aapka hota hai on canadian literature ek paper hota hai australian literature pe now you have to read different countries in order to uh, apply and write answers for different papers now the question comes what about indian literature isn't that a easier choice than to choose american literature a lot of students want to opt for indian literature because they find it very easy now you'll be tempted to opt for it because it hits home right but friends you won't find summaries and analysis of indian literary text online प्रेमचंद कालीदास इन सारों पे आपको मटेरियल नहीं मिलेगा एंड दैट्स व्हाई वी अवॉइड इंडियन लिटरेचर बिकॉज द मटेरियल इज नॉट अवेलेबल नीदर गाइड बुक्स आर अवेलेबल नॉर ऑनलाइन वेबसाइट्स आर देयर व्हिच गिव यू डिटेल समरी ऑफ दिस टेक्स्ट प्लस द सेकंड डिसएडवांटेज इज द सिलेबस ऑफ इंडियन लिटरेचर इज प्रीटी लेंथी अमेरिकन लिटरेचर इज कंपैरेटिवली हैव अ वेरी वेरी डिसेंट सिलेबस एंड विद दैट नोट आई हैव रीच्ड टू द एंड ऑफ दिस लेक्चर let me know what subjects have you chosen in ignu second year if you found this video helpful then please like the video and also share it with other fellow aspirants if you have any questions and doubts or if you want me to make a video on any other topic feel free to put that in the comment section below i would fondly read your comments and will reply to them that's it from my side for this video lecture i'll meet you very soon with another interesting video till the time we meet next happy learning keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarwa.com